Scott Whitley here and welcome to this brand new bass lesson. In this lesson we're going to take a look at how to play the bass line from uh, Hit Me With Your Rhythm Stick, the Ian Jury and the Blockheads tune. Uh, now the bass player that, uh, that, that wrote this bass line and, and obviously played it and, and still plays it in the Blockheads today is a guy called Norman Watroy. Um, the thing is, I, I think the greatest thing about Norman is his creativity in terms of the lines that he, he's, he's written and come up with, They're absolutely tremendous lines. Um, and this is, you know, this is no exception, this is great. It's a very Jaco Pastorius influenced line. Um, you know, it's got that 16th finger style thing going on. Very kind of Jaco sort of tone. Um, it's, thankfully, you know, it's not the kind of, you know, complexity and speed of a Jaco line. So it's a little bit easier to manage, you know, if, if, if it's a kind of style you're trying to get into. Um, it's probably a good place to start. So what I'll do now is just play the, the bass line again for you, uh, very, very slowly. I'm going to play it, uh, I think the original is something like 110 BPM, something like that. Uh, I'm going to play this now at what, uh, about 45, let's have a look. Uh, 49, 49 BPM, that'll do. So here we go. This is what it sounds like at that speed. so on and so forth okay so that's the line um, broken down to a, you know a very manageable sort of speed so you can really take in you know the flavor of the notes if you like there uh, so just quickly before we actually break it down into um, you know into, into small pieces um, 
the line or the tune is is pretty much in F minor throughout the the intro and the solos and the verses, and then it kind of goes into a kind of F major thing ish during the um, during the choruses. Okay, so let's uh, let's just get stuck in, and we're going to start right at the top of the tune with the intro section. Uh, and once you've learned this, it also comes in. Uh, in between the verses and the solo and the outro section. So here we go. Your first note you're going to play is a low F, okay, first fret on the E string, and it's pushed. So, in other words, if you count, you know, you're four in a bar, one, two, three, four, uh, and, and say and in between those, you get this one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. And this first beat comes on the and after four. So here we go. One and two and three and four and. There. One and two and three and four and. Okay. So let's just try that with the bass, getting that note on that and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. Okay. Let's try that with the drum machine. Bit slower. One and two and three and four and. Let's try it again. One and two and three and four and. It's one more time. One and two and three and four and. Okay. The next note you're going to play is an octave uh, F. So we're going to go up to the third fret on the D string. And then you're going to play the first fret on the D string, which is a flat seven in the key of F. The note is an E flat. And you play two beats on that, okay? So that sounds like this. Um, two, three, four. Okay, let's try that with the drum machine. One, two, three, four. Right, now the next section is, is kind of quite easy to, to remember because what we do, we play, like we played two beats on the, uh, two sixteenth beats on the first fret on the, the D string there, uh, the E flat, we're going to play two beats on the C, on the A string, so that's the third fret on the E string, and then we're going to play two beats on the B flat on the A string, so that's the first fret on the A string, and then we're going to repeat that a couple of times, so you get this. So you do that twice, okay? Uh, so let's just run that again. So you've got your, your low F, your high F, two sixteenth notes on the E flat there, first fret, two sixteenth uh, notes on the third fret on the A string, the C, two on the B flat, two on the C again, and then two on the B flat again. So let me play that in a loop for you. Obviously join in. One, two, three, four. Three, four. Remember to push that low F. Okay, so far, so far, so good. Um, so get that bit down, you know, perhaps pause the video if you need to and keep going over that. Um, or if you've got a drum machine handy, I'm playing that at 40 BPM at the minute, okay? So the next part uh, is 
and pretty much rounds that kind of that that baseline off is um, what I would call a, a five four flat three one uh, note wise that's C B flat G sharp F and fret wise that's uh, third fret on the A string first fret on the A string third fret on the E string first fret on the E string so I'll play that a few times so you can see what the notes are one more time so let me play that with the rest of the bass line here we go one two three and four and So there, there you go, that's the main kind of um, meat, if you like, of that intro bass line, okay? Um, it plays that a few times, I'll, I'll, I'll check how many in a, in a minute, and then um, it plays another phrase, which is, is this. Uh, So let's just check where that comes in. So uh, from the top, one. I'm just going to play this. You, you, you listen and see if you can hear where where this line up here fits in, and then we'll break it down. Okay. One, two, three, four. Two. Three. So it's on the fourth one. Four. That's where it fits in, okay? So it's on the fourth time round that bass line. We get halfway through and then we jump to this thing. So let's look at the at that fourth um you know fourth variation of, of, of this this looped bass line if you like. Hope you're following me. So it goes like this. We start the same with the, the low F, then the octave F, and then the two sixteenth beats on the E flat there, and then, uh, yeah, then two on the C, two on the B flat, and then just one on the C. Now this is quite tricky because you've got to make a jump after that to this area, okay? So let's just run that one more time again. So it's, it's the low F, the octave, two beats on the first first fret on the D string, two sixteenth beats on the third fret on the A string, two beats on the first fret on the A string, and then just one on the third fret on the A string. Let's just do that. I mean, we've done this already, but just, just so we know which point we're jumping out at. Okay. One and two and three and four and... There. Look at that little um, that little phrase, that little fill thing. Um, it starts on the sixth fret on the A string, B flat, flat seven in the key of F. Hammer that on two frets up to the eighth fret, which is um, an F. Okay, so let me show you that again. Okay, and then we play the sixth fret on the D string which is a, a flat third in the key of F, a G sharp. So that, so far. So you 
you must hammer that that on and then you play that sixth fret on the D and then you play two sixteenth uh, notes on the eighth fret on the G string which is another flat seven so that sounds like this So let's just play uh, that phrase with the drum machine in a loop. Uh, I should mention it comes in after the one. If you go one, two, three, four, one, ba, da, 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 it comes in there. One, two, three, four, one. Okay. So here we go. As I say, I'll play in a loop. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. So that one that we're missing out now is actually uh, when you li link it with the other bass line is, th is that single C we play. So let's have a go at that now, okay? I'm going to play... Okay, let's try that in a loop. Here we go. One, two, three, four. So that's um, that's pretty much all the line. There's just um, just one more bit, which is the uh, the, the kind of stabs uh, on the B flat. So you play two eighth notes and two um, and two on the C. Okay, so you get this. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. And that's kind of it. So what I'm going to do right now is um, play the whole line from the beginning. And, uh, you know, if you want to join in, I'll do it in a kind of loop. Um, give it a go. Here we are. Oh, one, two, three, and four. This is a different one. Okay, so I mean, it does change a little after that, as in you, you go straight to that hit me phrase again. Uh, but I reckon if you just, <coughs> excuse me, practice that section in a loop, just to get the, the, the whole uh, patterns under your fingers. That's the one that's really gonna work, okay? So just gonna give you that one more time uh, a little bit faster, so you can see how it starts to take shape. So that's at 40, we'll move it up to 80, we'll double that. Here we go. 
recommend you do uh, with, with with this line and anything else like this particularly if it's quite a tricky thing is to you know practice it to a speed beyond um, the speed of the, that you're ever going to play it with with a band or, or live or whatever um, like I say I'm, I can't remember the exact tempo of this tune I think it's about 109 or 110 BPM uh, but if you take it beyond that then it makes it quite comfortable and easy rather than something tricky to play when you played at the normal speed so uh, just, I mean, we we'll, uh, take it up to 130 BPM. I mean, that's way faster than the, the, the tune is. Um, give it a go. One, two, three. You know, if you can get it down at a faster speed than you need to, as I say, it makes it a lot more comfortable and easy to play at, at the kind of the normal speed. So um, I hope that helps. I hope uh, you understand uh, the, the way I've broken it down there. Uh, what I'm going to do in the next lesson is look at the the next section of this song, which is the uh, is the verse, okay? Which is a um, similar kind of pattern, but it's up up the octave here, uh, and it is a little different. So. I think that's enough to be going on with for now. In the meantime, please check out my website at www.scott-wickley.com uh, or you can visit my Facebook page or, or Twitter. Uh, the links are in the description below. If you have any questions, send me an email on scott at scott-wickley.com. And uh, in the meantime, have a good time. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.